Known for helping with speech, reading, and physical therapy, regional rehab instructors do so much more. For Easley McCain, they brought out his personality. WTVA's Daniela Oropesa shows us how he became as independent as he is. We went from not being able to sit up to um, at 16 months walking. We really didn't know if he would ever be able to walk. For a year now, Easley McCain has worked with Cami Riddle and Gretchen Brown. He has hypotonia, which is slow muscle tone that affects every part of the body. They're trying to work for him to have age-appropriate developmental skills. He's walking now, so now that he's walking, he can use some of that focus that he's had directed towards movement and put it towards communication a little bit more. To Weasley, each session is a ball of fun, but to Riddle and Brown, they're working on his developmental skills. That, that's sort of the secret of being a pediatric therapist, even though my goal may be to work on fine motor skills. For him, it's stacking blocks or it's coloring. So each day begins with Riddle to work on communication. And later, Brown comes in to work on movement. You do have to become their friend. They have to trust you, and if they trust you, they're willing to, to go out of their comfort zone and do new activities. And sometimes they do get a little ill, but you just work on it, and then they get excited when they're able to accomplish a new goal. Yay, Easley! You did it! Good job! A year later, Easley is no longer the quiet and still little boy he once was. Instead, he's very independent doing what he wants to do when he wants to do it. It's a whole different Easley. He's all boy, and he loves balls, and he loves seeing how much he can carry at once. When you saw your son take his first steps, what did that mean to you? It meant the world. Um, it really was a miracle, um, not knowing Two what more. the future holds for him. Seeing that first step, it just meant that he can achieve things that other kids his age are. In Tupelo, Daniela Oropesa, WPDA 9 News. To help the Regional Rehabilitation Center provide free services, you can tune into the Celebration of Hope Telethon that will air this Sunday, November 15th from noon to 2 on WTVA, from 1 to 3 on ABC WTVA.